Good afternoon. From its early beginnings, Waltham has been growing and going places. Waltham became a um, town in 1738, and its economy was primarily farming. Then came the paper mills that were built in the 1780s along the Charles River. And after that, we had the Boston Manufacturing Company actually bought the site of the old paper mill. And the Boston Manufacturing <coughs> Company is the first company in the world to manufacture cloth under one roof from start to finish. And that was known as the Waltham system. Then came the railroad to Waltham in 1843. There was a rail line built right next to the Boston Manufacturing Company, and that opened up transportation to and from Boston. It also changed the economy of Waltham from farming to mainly manufacturing. That line still exists today, and it has allowed the city of Waltham to be a leader in the Industrial Revolution in America. We have the Waltham American Crayon Company, the Waltham Watch Company, the uh, Waltham Watches, the Watch City, what we're known for, the Mets Car Company. A lot of people don't realize we also manufactured cars, and the Bleachery District. So due to that growth, Waltham became a city in 1884. Industry continued to grow into the 1990s. We had Thermo Fisher, Sylvania in 1955. We had the uh, Polaroid property, which has also undergone a transformation recently, the Raytheon Company, and J.L. Thompson. Now, in 1951, the highway came to Waltham. In 1952, the city of Waltham rezoned that property to attract businesses. Now, my great uncle, Jerry McCarthy, was a city councilor for 25 years in Waltham. And he stood on Waltham on the 128th, the day it was open. And he came back and he said to my father, he says, they don't know what they're doing, but eventually they will realize what they have done. <laughs> and what happened was the old pig farms became homes to Polaroid, became homes to uh, Sylvania, Cabin Cab Fords, and many more companies came. Industry continues to grow in Waltham. Waltham has always been able to reinvent itself and bringing in tech companies, high tech companies, medical companies, pharmaceutical companies, new, new, new ideas all the time, startups. And so they have always been able to reinvent itself, bringing huge jobs and brain power to the area, Waltham and the region. But with that growth <laughs> comes challenges. So I believe that we have to come up with creative solutions to deal with the quality of life issues, the quality of life issues for Waltham residents. It used to be that you could use 128, and now 95, but 128 from 10 o'clock AM to 2, no longer. 128 is busy all the time. So the quality of life for the Waltham residents, because when 128 is busy, they go all into the neighborhoods. The quality of life for the businesses themselves and the employees, and the quality of life for the commuters. So I would like you to imagine, <laughs> I would like you to imagine right down the center of 128, a monorail. I would like you to imagine stops in Burlington, Massachusetts, Waltham, Massachusetts, and Westwood, Massachusetts. Burlington connects to Alewife. Waltham connects to North Station and to Fitchburg. And Westwood connects to South Station and New York. And imagine that there would be a multimodal center on 128 where you could easily access the jobs in the city of Waltham as in the other uh, two communities. Now, it's not easy, but if you imagine it, Disney could do it. And with all the brains and the money and things that we have in this neighborhood, we should be able to plan for the future. Now, I believe that it's very important that this economic area. The city of Waltham is a huge economic center, but we are part of an economic region that is very, very, very important to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and to the whole region. Now, what happens if you do nothing? People will start, if you don't become competitive, people will start to go to other areas because, you know, they have a lot of time to, with their brains here, determining you know, cancer cures, all kinds of technology for the future. 
but you know what? We should be able to solve this problem because you should be able to go on the monorail, do what you want, do your reading, and enjoy. So what are the benefits of the monorail? We would have an improved commuter experience that would reduce the environmental impact if you actually wanted to come as a millennials and work from the city and come into Waltham for the beautiful jobs we have here. And not only that, it would allow Waltham people to come and work in 128 and also to be able to go around the city. So, but without, I believe, the federal government and the state government and the local government and the private sector getting together, they need to get together to come up with these creative solutions because the future of the region and the future of Waltham depends upon it. So, do we want more of this or this? <laughs> so Waltham can continue to go places and the entire region of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts can continue to go places. And I think it's necessary, you have to do it now and we would need to work together to make these changes because sitting on 128 for three hours getting here, how was your commute this morning? This is the solution, and there are many other solutions, but working together with the state and federal government and the local government, I think we can get it done. Thank you very much.